Nature has many types of food for animals and man. Some animals, such as cattle, sheep, and goats, live on grass and leafy plants. They are known as herbivorous. Other animals eat meat. They are known as carnivorous animals. Still other animals, such as this bear, eat all kinds of food. They are called omnivorous animals. He eats many kinds of food. Meat, vegetables, fruit, cereals, and milk. In common with all other animals, man must have water. He should drink several glasses every day. Many of the foods which man has learned to eat, nature has provided for her young, the young of animals and also of plants. In fact, milk is the most nearly complete food for young animals, who are not able to select from a variety of foods. Many young depend entirely upon milk during the first period of their lives. Again, eggs contain the entire supply of food for the development of young chicks and other birds before they are hatched. The seed of wheat contains the proper food for the young wheat plant to get its start in life. Here, with the action greatly speeded up through a special type of photography, we see young wheat plants growing with no other food supply than that contained within the seed. Bread, one of man's most important foods, is made of the ground seed of cereal grains. Again, through special photography, we see soybeans starting to grow. Soybeans likewise provide food for the young plants. Food containing many of the elements which man also needs for body growth. Fruits provide valuable food for man. So do vegetables, of which he eats many kinds. And since man is omnivorous, he also eats the flesh of certain animals and many varieties of fish taken from rivers, lakes, and oceans. Among other foods which man eats are butter and cheese, which are derived from milk. Science has found that man must have food which furnishes energy food to build muscle and other tissues, food to build bones and teeth, and food to provide the elements for growth, keeping the body machine in good working order. Nutrition experts can determine from the amount of energy we expend, the amount of energy giving foods we need to eat. Among these are fats. Fats are our most concentrated source of energy. Bread made from plant seeds also gives us energy, as do meat and cheese. Milk gives us energy because of the butter fat it contains. We must also have foods which give us materials for growth and maintenance of body tissues, such as muscles and bones. Such foods must contain proteins, which are an important part of all the cells of living things. Man's body can make its own proteins only when he eats the proper food. A lack of proteins shows up in a similar way both in the lower animals and in human beings. Robert and James are here carrying on feeding experiments with rats. They chose rats because rats are omnivorous and their food needs are very similar to those of man's. For three weeks, these rats were given the proper proteins supplied by white bread eggs while another pair ate only white bread and water, which did not provide them with the proper proteins. After three weeks, we see that the rat on the left, which did not get proper proteins, appears weak and unhealthy. He is also much smaller than the rat on the right, which was given a diet containing the proper proteins. Such proteins may be obtained from milk and milk products such as cheese, canned milk, and powdered milk. Eggs and the flesh of animals also supply proteins of the proper variety. Good plant sources of protein are the legumes such as soybeans, peas, and beans, and cereal grains. Science has also found that minerals too are needed in building the body and in regulating the body processes. 
bones which form the framework of our bodies need large amounts of calcium and phosphorus to keep them strong. There are some 14 minerals which our body needs for healthy living. Since they become part of every living cell of our body, we must eat foods containing minerals to replace those we lose every day. Excellent sources of these minerals are the foods nature provides for her young before they can fend for themselves, such as milk, eggs, plant seeds, and potatoes. Minerals also occur in meats, in fish, and in leafy vegetables. Calcium and phosphorus are plentifully supplied by milk. For the bones to use these minerals properly, vitamin D is necessary. One way to secure vitamin D is by exposing the skin to sunlight. Another way is to drink milk to which vitamin D has been added. Still another way is to take oils containing vitamin D, such as cod liver oil. Without calcium and vitamin D, this child would develop crooked bones. Vitamins in the diet are essential to life, health, and growth. Some vitamins we get by eating plants where they are made. Others are transformed from plants in the bodies of animals which eat them and which in turn are eaten by us. This experiment indicates what happens if we try to get along without vitamins. Each day, these rats are fed butter, which is rich in vitamin A, and also food lacking vitamin A. Vitamin A promotes growth, ensures good eyes, and a healthy skin. Other rats are being fed only on food that is lacking in vitamin A. After three weeks, we find that the rat without vitamin A is sick. His eyes are diseased and almost useless, while the rat with plenty of vitamin A is normal and healthy. Here is another vitamin experiment using guinea pigs. The guinea pig, like man, needs vitamin C, which is found in fresh fruits and vegetables, and which prevents scurvy. One pair of guinea pigs is given food which contains no vitamin C, while the other pair is given the same food each day, and also a cabbage leaf containing vitamin C. After three weeks, the guinea pigs on the right, which had no vitamin C, are smaller than those on the left and are sick. They have scurvy. The pair which received vitamin C from the cabbage leaf daily are in good health. Let us review the classes of foods which are useful in securing the ideal diet. First, fluid milk, canned milk, and milk powder. Second, whole grain or enriched cereals. Third, eggs. Fourth, cheese or meat, fish or legumes such as soybeans, peas, beans, and peanuts. Fifth, vegetables such as carrots, potatoes, lettuce, cabbage, string beans, green peas, or fresh onions. Sixth, fruits such as oranges, tomatoes, bananas, apples, canned tomatoes, and seventh, butter or vitaminized margarines. Obviously, not all these foods can be secured by everyone at all times. The important thing for us to remember here is to select as far as possible from all these classes the foods we will eat every day. For example, if fresh milk cannot be obtained, another form can be used. If whole wheat bread is not available, we can substitute enriched bread or cereals of the whole grain type. If butter is too expensive or cannot be purchased, a vitaminized margarine may be substituted. If eggs or meat are too expensive or not available, we can eat cheese or fish, or food made from soybeans or other legumes. If fresh vegetables or fruits cannot be bought, Canned vegetables and fruits prepared by proper processing may be used, or dried product. If we eat foods from all these classes intelligently, we can secure all that we need for energy and for a supply of proteins, minerals, and vitamins to keep our bodies strong and healthy and our minds alert.